as he bought bought a G wagon for his Domalian Dilo wife. Apparently, Dilo means I would have been like, oh, it's three hundred thousand pound mahar and a G wagon. So what, bruv? So what? What's it got to do with you? Allah subhanahu wa taala has given the right of the mahar for the woman. Who are you, bruv? Are you jealous? Just imagine the people back in the day when they would have to travel certain distances for months or even years. What is one thing that they would carry with them? The Quran. Why? Because they did not have it on their mobile devices or their gadgets. Brothers and sisters, imagine you have a app, the Qurani app, which not only shows you how much rewards you get, but reminds you to read the Quran, gives you reminders. Download the Qurani app now and let it testify for you on your Qiyamah that you read it wherever you was. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, The one who protects what's between his lips and what is between his legs, I will give him good glad tidings of Jannah. As an Ummah, as Muslims, I've been a Muslim for 11 years. I have never seen, and I'll be honest with you, I've had this testimony from brothers like Muslim Bilal. In the comment section, and wherever it may be, us Muslims, and I'm, I, I think for me to generalize, I think I'm not going to put every single Muslim in this category, but we are one of the most toxic people when it comes in the comment section. Wallahi, just imagine, do you know how many people are going to enter the fire because of the stuff that they say? Now it's come to light that, subhanAllah, these rumors, I'm just shocked. Like, Zishan contacted me and said, bro, you know, you want, do you want to do a video about chunks, etc. And I thought, well, what's there to talk about? You know, he got married, may Allah bless him, etc. And he's like, no, you don't understand. I think you should do some research. And I was thinking, I mean, what could possibly be said about chunks? He got married, may Allah bless and protect his marriage. May Allah grant him righteous children. And inshallah, that his marriage, is, marriage lasts forever. Alhamdulillah, inshallah, until akhirah. And when I looked into this matter, I was shocked. I mean, my wife even sent me some stuff and I was like, is this, is this for real? Like, people are now trying to, number one, first is a manhunt about who his wife is. Are you guys possessed? Are you tapped? Like, well, like, I don't know if this is coming from the sisters, because sisters can be a bit nosy, you know? Oh, who's this wife? Who's, who did he marry? Oh my gosh, look at her. They just want to assess, you know? Oh, look at her, look at her lashes. Oh, look at her nose. Oh, he could have done this. You know, sisters like to talk, subhanAllah, yeah? Or is it the brothers, you know, who have come with absolute slander? And in Surah Nur, if you go to the Quran in Surah Nur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about those who slander. Chunks, I met his dad in a couple of years ago in Brent Cross, alhamdulillah. He came across, I came to me and he said, you know, you've done a video about my son. And I was like, oh my gosh, is it one of the reputation videos that i done, you know, am I in trouble? And, you know, span in my head. And, he was, and I didn't know who he, who he was, subhanAllah. And he's like, Chunks. I was like, oh, Chunks. I was like, yeah, yeah, Because I was thinking in my head, I've, I've done nothing but spoken good of him. And alhamdulillah, he's not infallible for that matter, alhamdulillah. And I've advised him once in private. And wallah, he's somebody that takes advice. He took the advice. And took down, I'm not saying because of my uh, comment, but the point is, Alhamdulillah, I spoke to his dad, you know, Alhamdulillah, he told me stuff about his son, Alhamdulillah, everyone will talk good about their child, but I genuinely believe the Chunks, brother, our brother Chunks, Alhamdulillah, has goodness in him, Alhamdulillah, he's somebody who's memorized the Quran, his wedding was um, segregated, Alhamdulillah, yes, there are shortcomings he has, and he knows that, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't justify and say it's, it's halal, the issue is not even that now. The issue is pertaining to the honor of his wife and himself. Firstly, the people are talking about what? Oh, it's three hundred thousand pound mahar and a G wagon. So what, bruv? So what? What's it got to do with you? Allah subhanahu wa taala has given the right of the mahar for the woman. Who are you, bruv? Are you jealous? Are you jealous? What's your problem, bruv? If she asks 10, 10 million pounds, it is at her discretion. Okay. I mean, if Chunks can afford it, which he, I'm sure he can. What's your problem, bro? Why are you butt hurt? Huh? Why are you? Why are you so? Why does it bother you? This is, there's two types of jealousy and envy. There is one that is not blameworthy, you're not sinful, and the second one you are. The first thing is that you see something in someone else, want it for yourself, make dua for it. Number two is something that you want it to be taken away from them. I'm going to read you guys some comments, it's shocking. SubhanAllah, let me tell you something. If you have a problem with somebody's blessings, your problem is not with that person, it's with the one that's giving them the blessings. And who is, who is it? Who? Huh? The billionaire, millionaire, the industry? No, it is... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala If you have a beef Like shaitan had a beef with Adam And he got doomed forever in uh, hellfire Why? Because his beef wasn't with Adam It was the one who gave What Allah uh, gave him that Which was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So anytime you have envy And jealousy The one that's blameworthy Your beef is with Allah bro Or my sister Okay for the sisters who are out there jealous, etc., you know, whatever it may be, or for the brothers out there who are jealous because you don't have what he has, or whatever for that matter, what is your problem? Wallahi fi Allah, you will never attain anything. What are you going to do, bruv? What are you going to do? Fight him? He's Allah's blessing with it. 
You're only, you're only going to eat yourself up alive. Wallahi, one thing that a principle that you should have in your life is what? Wanting good for others. Always want good for others. Jealousy will do nothing but consume you and eat you alive. Like Adam salam's children, one murdered the other one. Like Shaitan fell into disbelief. It will even lead to kufr if you carry on like this. SubhanAllah. And all I want to say to Chunks is, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, bro, this is a fine reminder. This is the reason why, alhamdulillah, my wife didn't even want to speak on a video, alhamdulillah, with she. There's nothing wrong with speaking, it's not haram. She didn't, did not even want to speak because these people are tapped in the head, bro. This is a message to you, Chunks, Aki, yeah? Protect your wife, Aki. Protect yourself and your wife Because me and my wife When we're out and about I tell my wife to wear niqab now She's not a niqabi But I tell her to wear a niqab When she's out and about with me Why? Because sisters try to take Little sly, uh, sly pictures You know how many times I had to stop my wife From boxing up some sisters Because they tried to do Some sly ones You know Trying to take a picture Of my wife Okay How many times I had to stop my wife From boxing up some sisters Yeah, and it, I'm not saying Like literally But she was going to go On a mad one Because Man I'm out with my wife man. Why do you Why are you so flipping nosy man Wallahi the nosiness And a lot of the times It comes from the sister I'm not going to lie They're just so damn nosy Who is it Oh my gosh What kind of guy Oh my gosh You married that race Oh my gosh Look Brother man What's your, what's your problem man Mind your own business man Mind your own business So my dear brother Chunks You and your wife Please do your afkar Number two When you're in public bro Be very careful I would even highly recommend you I would advise you to tell your wife to wear a niqab. I personally advise, bro. Trust me, bro. Now that this is going on, Aki, they are going to try to find a picture. They're obsessed. They're tapped in the head. SubhanAllah. Look at some of these disgusting things that is going being said. Wallahi, I do not even want to repeat it. This is of some dirt scumbag. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all his good deeds to you and your wife, yeah? Butak boy chunks allegedly couldn't couldn't have couldn't uh, couldn't have gotten himself a 910 aristocratic beautiful adan princess adan means uh, you know a white person princess from kensington but allegedly decided to settle down with a two out of ten uh, bomalian mocking somalis yeah? bomalian tabaruj merchant from the streets of Minna, minnesota huge l who are you bruv man who the hell are you and subhanallah look 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 may allah deal with men who look at, look at this subhanallah uh, look this is something so vile i don't even want to speak they are questioning her. Oh, the billah. They are questioning her chastity. Man, these things can destroy households. How would you want to be a part of destroying a household? Imagine, let's suppose, because this is an outright blatant lie. Imagine a separate brother. A separate brother who is married to his, married to his wife. And his wife had a past. She had a past. Something that bothers every man. She had a past. But false rumours, just false, it's not true. Somebody just decided to make up something and say, oh, I bet she slept around. Or I know she slept around. Arguments. And it's a full out, like he's lying, he's lying. But now that man knows that reality with his wife. He knows and he has said, Allah has forgiven you. And whatever it is, it's, it's hard for every man. But he's let that go and said, you know what? He's fighting his demons and he's going ahead with the marriage. How do you think you're going to make that man feel when you are spreading lies? When that man is acknowledged and it's a sin that's happened, whatever it is for that matter, and then now you've left that man paranoid because he's thinking, why, why did he say that? So does he know something? Like, what are you going to get out of it? SubhanAllah, what are you going to get out of it? That's why Surah Nur was revealed to defend Aisha radiallahu anha against slander. SubhanAllah, look at this, yeah? And they're sharing these pictures of some woman. Basically, apparently that's not even her, yeah? Some non-hijabi sister, etc. Saying that's not even her. Video, Chunk spent £300 as mahr as he bought, bought a G-Wagon for his Domalian Dilo wife. Apparently, Dilo means, I would have been like, Oh, I would have been like, and they got married in Minnesota. Look at this. Look at look at this. Unbelievable. Wallahi, unbelievable. Look at the stuff that they're saying. I would have been like, look at this. People are so jealous of him and expose his identity. How pathetic. This is exactly true. Yeah. Look. Wow. Chunks is a man that literally had a past of having girlfriends, being in sexual relationships, and everything he has done and continues to do do is of complete sin. How dare they, they try to down talk his wife No matter what the woman has done How are you even talking about it's like his facts Look at this Look what dumb comment you're mentioning As if it's a reality It's all slander And then you are there yeah, It's unbelievable You're trying to defend his wife honor By saying Oh yeah but if his wife done that uh, Then he's also done it Where's your evidence man Allah says in the Quran Allah says in the Quran And I'll end on this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and those who accuse honorable chaste women With false charges They do, they do not bring four witnesses 
if they do not bring four witnesses, so flog them with 80 lashes and never accept the testimony after that. And indeed, they are the disobedient transgressors. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established lashing in public and to never take that person's testimony again because this destroys households. This destroys people's honor and a woman's honor. We know that's why Islam is so severe. And we know the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said seven major sins. Yes, he mentions about shirk, riba, um, Adultery, if I'm not mistaken, and one of the last ones is what? To accuse a chaste woman of her, subhanahu, her chastity. Subhanallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to what? It says, don't worry. And this is an ayah. I will say this is for our dear honorable sister, uh, Chunks' wife, subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and do not think this is bad for you. Rather, it's good for you. You know why, my sister? On your maqiyamah, all of those lies and slander that was made against your husband and you, my dear sister, on your maqiyamah, you are going to get all of their good deeds. And check this out. If they run out of good deeds, guess what? They are going to carry you and your husband's sins. The sins that you have, now it's going to be like, now you're carrying sins. Because you've run out of, look at it, you've run out of the good, good deeds, now you're going to carry their sins. And I make it, and I make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it a means to purify our trunks and his dear honorable wife, who's our sister, and we will defend their honor till the death of us because the Sharia calls for us to defend this honor. So, when some people come and say, Oh, brother Ali, you guys love jumping on everything, how can we not jump on something like this when it comes to enjoying a good and forbidden evil? Yes, the Prophet said, You either enjoy good and forbid evil, or that even if you prostrate in salah, it will be rejected from you. Okay, even if you when you make supplication, it will be rejected from you. Uh, Allah will send a calamity, something along those lines, subhanAllah. Yeah, why? Because this is why. Many nations before went astray. Why? Because they just let it be. We're not. This is a serious matter that has to be dealt with. I want to say, subhanAllah, that for us to be careful with what comes out our mouth, many people are going to end up in the hellfire, man. It's not worth it. Keep your business to yourself. Jealousy. Do your adhkar. My brothers and sisters, wallahi, jealousy and envy is a real thing. I'm telling you, wallahi, I believe even in that wedding, there's people who just, they just don't like it. They're, they're smiling, but deep inside they're burning. They don't like it, the fact that, you know, why did Chunks marry him? Yes, okay, or oh, brother, brother, it's like that, wallahi, that's what Allah has told us, Salah protects you. Adhkar, it protects you against magic, sihr, evil eye. This is haq, bro. Chunks, you cannot go a single day without doing your adhkar with your wife. And protect your wife at any cost, inshallah. I personally would advise at this rate, trust me, um, that your wife wears a niqab just to protect her. I do the same thing with my wife, bro. Wallahi, my wife is on niqabi. That's all I want to say, inshallah. Sorry if I got a bit agitated but it's wallahi it really really hurts me that people are going down to this level to insult a man on his day that he has to take down his twitter man may allah deal with you guys you oppressors that's all i'm going to say inshallah may allah bless and preserve you guys and keep us inshallah on the salat al-mustaqim assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh